She went deep with it. <laughs> Fellas, welcome back to the vlog. I am down horrendously. I've woken up this morning with a sore throat, extremely stuffy nose, lots of fatigue, which are three symptoms of COVID. Kofefe, whatever you want to call it. Not good. So I'm gonna go get tested for COVID. I'm vaccinated. You'd think I wouldn't have it, but we'll see. Uh, today's vlog will be interesting. One, two, three, four, five. She went deep with it. <laughs> what a vibe. I may have COVID, but I also have a fireplace. Hi, here you go. They're negative. Oh, thank God. Yes. Let's go. Oh my God, I would have cried. I have bought literally all of the medicines to hopefully feel better. Honestly, the sickness isn't too bad. Like, I don't have a cough, really. I've coughed a couple times. I feel like it could be coming on, but I really hope that it's just like a sore throat, super stuffy nose. I'm probably gonna get Christina sick, too, because every time we get sick, we both get sick. Apologies. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my COVID test came back negative, so I'm keeping my streak of never having COVID alive. I think that me and Jesse already had COVID this summer. We both got really sick. Cap. But Jesse has like assimilated it into his identity that he's never had COVID. Like he wants to come out of no, it. No, 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 no. I have been COVID tested like three million fucking times. Anytime I do a shoot, COVID test, COVID test. I've gotten tested even when we were sick, tested. I've been negative every time. We got extremely <laughs> sick this summer. Like we both got extremely, <laughs> extremely sick. And it was like coughing and stuff. In my opinion, I, I'm keeping my negative COVID streak because I got the negative test today. But guys, with the vlog, like before I started the vlog, I thought to myself, what would I I do if I ever got sick and then I just went on to another thought I never made a conclusion of what I would do. <laughs> I had a whole plan to go to the carnival today and try to win every single prize for myself so no little kids could have them and I could just have every one. But I think I'm just gonna chill for the day. That's messed up. I'm gonna just take it easy, stay at the house today, especially because I'm supposed to go to San Diego tomorrow and then I'm supposed to go to New York for four days, so I just want to try to rest. But thankfully, in yesterday's video, I only did a hide and seek, but I actually vlogged the whole day. So I have a decent amount of footage. Roll the clip. Fellas, we are back in the gym, and I just have to say, I've been reading the comments on every single vlog. There's so much love, and there's so many of you guys who have been on your fitness journey with me, and I'm so proud of everyone who's been doing it. Keep killing it, keep grinding, keep working hard, fellas, and now I got a gym update for myself. So like two weeks ago in the vlog, I hurt my forearm, strained my muscles. It still hurts when I twist my arm or like pick up heavy weights. I have done a little bit of upper body work, and I'm really trying to like get back into it through the pain, which I honestly don't know if that's the best thing to do. Like, should I just wait or just go through the pain? But I have an update. I hurt my knee. I'm fucking sad. So I think I hurt my MCL a little bit. Basically, like every step I take, my knee hurts. I did a really intense leg workout, then the next day it's been hurting. <laughs> I honestly wasn't gonna be in the gym today. I was gonna like take a rest day, but my partner, Christina, forced me to come to the gym today. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get something in. I can do abs, definitely. It doesn't need my arm or knee. She told me that. So I'm gonna do that today. That's my update. I keep getting injured. It's demotivating, but having you guys supporting me has been so motivating. So let's get it, man. Yeah. Mid ab workout, the squad pulled up. Rick, get in the in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jeffron in the building, everyone's favorite couple. Let me get a six pack. Dude, I've been bulky. Look at it. I've been you bulky. Still got a six pack. Yeah. Yeah. Girls right here, bro. What are you doing? I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Have some respect. I was looking at your tattoo. It's peeling right now. Look at this. Give it, give it like a more week. Your boy has gotten some packages, people. This is gonna be a new segment in the vlogs where I open packages that you guys send me. I recently just opened a P.O. box, as you can see right here in the sky cam. Hello. Big thank you to everyone who sent me a package on my P.O. box. It's right here or link in the description of every video if you wanna send me something and be on the videos. We have a package from Dylan right here. It is a green container. This is very mysterious. Some CBD. Nice. <laughs> All right, we got some cannabis straight away. That's the first thing I've received. No, oh my God. I don't really vape. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is like a lotion. This is an oil. Thank you. Definitely wasn't expecting the first P.O. Box package to be some cannabis. But hey, I do live in California, so if y'all ever do want to see a video where I get high, maybe, one day, who knows? I've honestly seen so many CBD products pop up, and like, I've tried using CBD, but I honestly don't really notice the effect. Maybe it's just me. The next package. Oh my god, is this a jersey? No way! What? You have gotten a Jaguars jersey, and the name is Minshew II. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know who this is. I don't know my football players, but thank you. Dude, I'm pretty bandwagon. I feel like I may as well wear it. And a Tebow hand cooler. Nice. Solid. I also got some letters. Little too hype drawing. An absolutely beautiful drawing of Zach as a grandpa and six pack by the set for Jesser. And a very nice message from McKay. 
Now this package right here is actually from my boy Tristan Jass. So big thank you to him. Dear Jesse, hope you enjoy this game. Really appreciate your support, bro. Keep grinding. That's the boy Tristan Jass. Always gotta support the homie. Hey, he's signed by T Jass as well, the boy. Hey, no, shout out to Tristan, bro. This packaging is beautiful. Like this is like legit something you'd see in like a Target. Big props to my boy. Bro, you already know I have to hit a trick shot with this. Behind the back, two legs. I got a package from 100 Thieves. I love 100 Thieves. Literally being a part of them has been the greatest thing ever. They're amazing. And they always send me cool shit. Oh. Yeah, let me see if I'm allowed to show you guys this. <laughs> Talk to boss man. I'm not allowed to show you guys this yet. Sorry. That concludes the opening for today. And we're back. Me and Lupe have been sleeping. But it is time I finally finish my art project that I've been telling you guys about. All right. The art project's going to be right here. We already got the road to 4 million. This is going to take me a minute. And you guys are going to be really excited about it. I feel like Picasso Let's add some black outline to all the words. I did the R. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> Of the art project is finished, bro. Mad respect to artists. This shit is not easy. But we got all the outline finished. It is looking good. Now we're in the middle of the drawing. It's gonna be me with a giant six pack. Just kidding. I'm not that artistic. I'm artistically challenged. I have the shakiest hand. I'm literally just trying to draw a fat rectangle. It's so hard to make a straight line. Literally straight as a curved line right now. That's how I'm feeling. Wait, I was talking about the painting. Voila! It is very beautiful. The art piece is done, people. We're on the road to 4 million, and it's like a thermometer. And each 50,000 subscriber milestone we get to, I'm gonna be doing an event or a special video that I know you guys will really enjoy. Like right now, I have on here daily vlog, which we've been doing. 100 presents, one of my most loved videos. They just take a lot of setup and time. A gym stream, a song with Moochie, a basketball stream, a huge giveaway, and an all day IRL stream for 4 million. Now, notice how half of them are blank. That's because I want. I want you guys to comment down below what I should fill them in with. At the end of the day, I want to put out stuff that you guys are really going to enjoy. For the milestones, like things that you guys are going to be excited about. So in the comments down below, let me know. And every single time we do hit one of these milestones, I'm going to write a couple of you guys' names on the wall. And we'll just keep reflecting on this all the way till we hit 4 million, baby. All right, fellas, update. I went to the doctor today and I have tested positive for mono, I didn't even know what it was, but I'm not gonna be able to do any physical activity for two weeks, apparently, and I'm gonna be sick for like two weeks. It's like really frustrating, because I really want to do the vlog, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it for like a week, and I just like, my number one priority was to get a vlog out, but I'm just gonna be sick. Yeah, whenever I'm healthy, the vlog will start back again. But it's just so frustrating. I feel like it's just out of my control, like I can't do anything. And I just like, I'm gonna be super fatigued. I feel like such a bitch that I'm crying right now, but like, literally doing the daily vlog is just like, and wanting to be like perfect to make every video awesome and just like, not miss a day was just the most important thing to me. I just like, I feel like I won't be able to do that. I'll see how I'm feeling. But yeah, the Dodger, like, I don't even know what the f motto is, fam. But I was like, he was telling me about it. Like, I can't do any physical exercise for like two weeks because my fucking spleen could rupture. What? And then like, just the most, it's like literally like a fucking swallowing glass. It's just also the bad thing is like, I have so many like plans that I'm just like, I don't know what's gonna happen now. But I will see y'all. Hopefully soon I'll update y'all on my social media. Um, Have a great rest of your day, everyone.